Does your house in Terraria look like this? Do you want it to look like this? Or maybe even this? Well, I'm here to tell you and show you exactly how you can take any boring old simple cube house and turn it into the Terraria Japanese styled house of your dreams. Hello and welcome back to another Terraria video. My name is Akaran and today I'm going to be killing that bird. Flying bird fish creature. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn any simple boring house into a Japanese or Chinese, Korean, whatever sort of general Asian themed build in Terraria which seems to be very popular and I see there's always a lot of uh, uh, need for this kind of thing, a lot of people looking for ways to build it, there's a lot of slimes. And honestly, it's really not that hard, it's actually quite easy, quite simple, it's basically how I've been able to make how many buildings do we have here now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus there was another one on another uh, world. So I've done like 11 of these Japanese styled houses and buildings, which are all on my channel. So if you want to check them out, feel free to go do so. And basically, essentially, I take an ordinary shape, right? And I just Japaneseify it, question mark. Um, so I take my general shape, so for example here the shape was a house with a courtyard, so two enclosed square rooms and then a normal triangle roof. And then you just add on some details and some general themes that sort of stick with the quote unquote Japanese theme and you're good to go, it's really quite easy. First let's get into the materials that I use when I make these Japanese style buildings and you can use anything but you know I'm kind of showing you the general tips and tricks of how to turn anything simple into a Japanese theme. So of course you get the dynasty wood. Now I've seen a lot of people in the comments asking, where do you get this from? This comes from the traveling merchant. Now the traveling merchant shows up randomly. There is not really any way to force them to show up. You kind of just have to hope for the best. So if you're starting out in a new world, don't aim for this kind of style, unless you're gonna cheat it in, you know? Um, but don't aim for this kind of style because you need to wait to get your dynasty wood. Dynasty wood and dynasty shingles. That's generally what you're going to need, right? After that, it's pretty simple stuff. So I use plain wooden walls. I also use the dynasty walls. You get white and blue. I don't really like the look of the blue, which is why I never use it. Uh, but then you can also get the dynasty lanterns. Now, these dynasty lanterns you can make at a crafting bench. Same goes for the wall as long as you have the dynasty wood. So all you need from the traveling merchant is some dynasty wood and dynasty shingles. They're really cheap. It's like, I think one copper a piece. So you can buy loads of it. It's really not expensive. As for doors, I like to go with the dungeon door. I don't like the dynasty door so much. Uh, again, feel free to go with that. And then wooden fences are also something that I use a lot of. So between wooden fences, wooden walls and white dynasty walls, you can actually have some mixed patterns and you, so that you don't just have a simple plain brown wall just like the one in this building below me. So let's begin by turning this simple little thing into a nice dynasty Japanese style building. Okay, so your first tip, the first thing you wanna do is don't build it on the ground floor. I know some of these other ones are, but the majority of them you can see that one's not on the ground floor, that one's certainly not on the ground floor. Uh, a lot of them aren't on the ground floor. You can still do it on the ground floor, but it gives it a bit of personality, makes it look better. So do that. There's your, your pillar. Then go one, two, three. Make it as wide as you want. Generally, I like to make them odd numbers because it makes the roof a lot easier to design. So we're going to make this, let's say, 15 blocks wide. There you go, 15, and we've got a little thing there. From there, get yourself any platform of your choice. Now you can make really nice stairs with your platform by pressing control. When you press control, you see that little yellow thing comes up. This is how you make stairs. So you do one, two. Now, if I do that without control, just to show you, it will just do normal platforms. You can hammer them, but it's easier to just press control so that it automatically places it as a nice stair. Then what I like to do is I just go straight up as high as I can go, right? Then you cut out yourself a door and then from here, what you can do is put a block like that and like that and take it all the way out and do the same thing there. And then 
out by one on that side, out by one on that side, and then on top, take that one out by one more, like that. You'll notice pretty much every single Japanese theme building I've done has this general pattern over here. And what you can do is in the middle, you can do that as well, make it look cool. And then in that gap, you can put anything from wooden walls to white dynasty walls or even your fences. So in this one, let's put down some fences like that. There you go. It gives a texture. You want to have different blocks. You don't just want one block, one color, one texture. You want to try mix and match it. So now I'm going to put down my dungeon doors like that. And let's put down some white dynasty wall. Right, now the nice thing about the Dynasty Wars is they have this cool pattern at the top over here, which again, it's very small, it's almost not even noticeable, but it adds life to the building. It makes it special, makes it unique. Then a Dynasty Table, which again, you can make it a crafting bench as long as you have Dynasty Wood. And then I put down the little chairs. And then generally, I like to put a candle on there like that. So instead of just using torches, you have different options. You've got the small candle, you've got that large lantern hanging over there, there's the small lantern, uh, there's the bigger candle as well, somewhere in my inventory. There you go, <laughs> the large dynasty candle. There's so many different options, so many different ways you can add personality. Do you want more lighting outside? Hang some lanterns outside. Bam, look at that. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There are just different tips and tricks that generally suit the look now generally the roofs always tend to have a bit of a triangle shape to them so you can see there's a triangle there triangle there triangle there you don't really just give it a, a flat top roof you could if you want to uh it'll probably still look cool but again this sort of matches the vibe okay so how do we achieve this triangle style for the house well generally what i like to do is i'll either place the first block in line with that one or have that be the middle block right so and i'll usually go three right at this time let's make it the middle block so we go one two three like that one two three like that and generally i'll go one two three one two three and then you can do generally you can either go in steps of three steps of two you can alternate so we've got three three now let's have two 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 and we can go two again and then go up. And a common mistake I always make is I always forget to decorate the interior before I leave. So be sure to do the interior. Now, what you can often use is the wooden beams actually go pretty nicely as sort of like an alternating style. So every second block, put a wooden beam. And then you can either go with the White Dynasty wall or you can go with the wooden wall. Let's go with the wooden wall so that we have different textures like that and then why not add a dynasty lantern hanging in the middle so and then we go up by two like that and like that because generally at the end you'll see you don't just want to make it one tall you like to go up by quite a couple just because it it gives it more of a, a slope rather than just a straight line if that makes sense so i'm going to fill that in and i'm going to get a dynasty lantern and bam now we have light in there Excellent. Then get your choice of shingles. Now, this is the part that also really adds a lot of sort of quote unquote Japanese-ness to <laughs> these builds, right? Uh, so you go over like that. You want to go two over, then you get your hammer like that and like that. And there you go. Look at that. It's just like it's a simple little hook thing that is just so much better than just having a plain flat roof or just a plain bare formation of your dynasty shingles right and then generally the simple one that you can do is where you just go one all around so every wooden block you just want to go one 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 thickness the whole way around it And now you can see that these dynasty shingles have these little bits that point that stick out. I often like to use a different mix and match of whether or not I hammer them straight or not. So you can see here, here I've hammered them into a nice slope. Here I haven't. Here I've left them nice and pointy. 
it's up to you as to what you think looks nice. So for one like this, where we've just got single width, right? It'll probably be better to actually bring it out by one, like there, there you go. Let's bring each, each one out up until we get to there. And now what you can do is, let's say hammer that one, leave that one pointy. And then do that. Let's see how this looks. Because I'm literally just making this up as I go along by showing you the general steps of what I do to make something look Japanese, right? So let's do that. Let's break that. Let's put another one of those in there. And then like that. And then we can leave that pointy like that. And there you go. A very simple, basic Japanese styled house, right? It didn't take long at all. I literally just came up with it off the top of my head and you can do that too you can make things be as simple as you want as complex as you want as long as you stick to the basics of the general style so those styles are number one make sure you always use dynasty blocks that straight away is just going to get you 90 percent of the way there so dynasty wood shingles dynasty walls dynasty tables Dynasty bookcases and clocks and lanterns, all of that adds more style, more personality, gives it more life, makes it look less boring and more fun. So that's your first one. Number two, this general style over here with, with your roofs. You want to have this thing where you leave a block in between and you can fill it up with fences or walls or leave it blank or do whatever you want. But this general look over here, I don't know what it is about it, but it just it adds that Japanese theme, you know? Try build it one off the ground if you can. It's okay if you build it on the ground, but which do you think looks like it has more personality, right? This one over here or that boring one over there. And then the next one for your roof, always do your little pointy things. Very easy to make. Just go out by two, one, two, and then go up one. And then you hammer those outside ones. Very easy to do. And lastly, try and go for your sloped triangular styled roofs where possible again you can go flat i have got some where you can see over oh, this one here is mostly flat but it does still have those triangle bits on the edges and basically that's it that's how you can turn any boring simple square house into any one of these lovely japanese style houses that i have made you can see about all these small ones over here this is the last video go check it out if you want to see how to make quick simple Japanese ones. Here we've got a much bigger one that's a lot more complex. Here we've got our nice long dojo is what I like to call it. Here we've got sort of like a mansion which this one actually took quite a while to build but it was quite fun. It's quite a nice building this one. And here we've even got our Japanese style bridge and you can see I've gone for the same kind of thing. I've gone for this general pattern over here where you leave block the middle and do sort of lines in between and hammer the edges and all that kind of stuff. And over here we've got a very simple one with a gnome sitting on the top <laughs> and yeah you can see during like you know just put in a bookcase some places but if it's a wide room put down some of these beams just to you know so it's not a plain flat white boring wall so hopefully after watching this you now feel confident in yourself and you're ready to go make your own japanese style buildings you can make a village you can make whatever the heck you want anything can be done in the style it's very versatile there's a lot you can do with it and it's very simple so thank you very much for watching if you want to see more i have a patreon i only do as many videos as i have patreon subscribers because obviously i need to make a living can't afford to be doing this all the time so if you'd like to see more terraria videos or more path of exile videos or more videos in general please follow me or uh, please subscribe to my patreon it really helps it makes life a lot easier for me and it means I can make more videos that you guys enjoy. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.